Interference occurs when two pulses meet while traveling in opposite directions along the same medium. There are two types of interference. Constructive interference occurs when both pulses are displaced in the same direction, both upwards or both downwards. Destructive interference occurs when the displacements are in opposite directions. This diagram shows two waves interfering. The rules for constructive and destructive interference are the same for waves as they are for pulses. Points A and F represent constructive interference since both waves are displaced upwards at these two locations. Point C also represents constructive interference since both waves are displaced downwards at this location. And points B, D, and E represent destructive interference since the two waves are displacing the medium in opposite directions at these three locations. The principle of superposition allows us to predict the resulting shape of the medium when two waves are interfering. The principle states that the resulting displacement at any location is the sum of the individual displacements caused by each interfering wave. For example, at location A in the diagram, the resulting displacement is positive 8 units. Since the blue wave is displaced upwards with positive 6 units, and the red wave displaced upwards at positive 2 units. But at location B in the diagram, the resulting displacement is positive 4 units. Since the blue wave is displaced upwards, positive 6 units, and the red wave displaced downwards at negative 2 units. By applying the principle of superposition to several locations along the medium, you can determine the displacement at each location and the shape of the resultant wave at that moment in time. This is shown in the diagram. I'm Mr. H, letting you know that you got this.